And good evening, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here again, reconnecting and re-collaborating. And it's a real welcome and thank you so much for everyone on the dais, all dignitaries on the dais. I'm so happy that you all could join us. I would also like to thank all the dignitaries across me, which I think I'm facing much more than the ones I'm facing on the dais. So, and of course, we have stalwarts like Mr. Subhash Goel sitting here, we have Balbir Mayal sitting here, the past president of Thai, and of course the media and all senior and junior and younger, not junior, but younger to me. So it's lovely seeing all of you and thank you once again for joining me here to take this, our initiative of Thai forward. And this is the collective team of Thai which has come from all over India to even join us here. So thank you chairpersons, thank you office bearers, thank you MC, thank you everyone for being here and making this a huge success. Yes, so we need to talk about the convention. We heard lovely views from Rupinder ji, how she actually spoke about with passion. She always speaks with passion about tourism and we love her for that. And uh, we heard the High Commissioner say uh, beautiful words and we're looking so forward to move to Sri Lanka and enjoy and explore, like Rupinda said, the emerald. So I think that's time for us to move forward. But just to give you a quick, quick uh, thoughts on what the convention is going to be about. So it's, that's the 66th convention uh, of the exhibition of Thai, which is going to be held from the 19th to the 22nd of April 2022. So we all know what Thai is about because we are all Thai members here. But still to give it a little more emphasis because I think I'm very proud to be a Thai member. And truly I'm a bearer of the Thai name which I feel is something we be very proud to be about. So we were established in 1951 which says a lot for our age. We are old enough to be recognized. We are the oldest nodal body and I say it the premier body of associations. And I say that very proudly. And we have 20, more than nearly 2,700 members. We have 20 region chapters spread over all India who are connecting, reconnecting, and collaborating with all stakeholders to see how we can progress and do business and create opportunities for the entire industry. So the Indian Travel Congress, what we call Thai Convention, is supposed to be, it's something which is eagerly awaited. And you can see how we all collected here and how and we are so happy to be just thinking about it, we haven't even reached Colombo and someone told me, are we already in Colombo? So I said, wow. So that says for everyone, you here, and I think you all need an applause from all our sides that, you know, you've been such a, such a motivator for all of us to say that how we can take this forward. So yes, everyone looks forward to Thai because it's time to reconnect, read, invent ourselves, collaborate and restructure ourselves after post-COVID because I think after post-COVID, we have a lot to do because it's a new world, a new world. We are taking baby steps to see how we can move forward with them. So Thai opportunities, which we actually offer to all our members. So we have a gambit of tourism people in our uh, association. So we do not have any one avenue and stream of people who belong to Thai. So we are into leisure, we are into hospitality, we are into sports tourism, we are into airline ticketing, we are into outbound tourism, we are into Hindu tourism, Buddhist tourism. So there's nothing that's actually lagging. We're also in training and education opportunities. We do a lot of weddings, we do a lot of wellness. We are into inbound, we are also into outbound. So I think that says a lot for Thai. And we do believe that Thai is one association which actually promotes destinations and specializes in promoting these. But, um, I would definitely like to recognize the president, uh, the, the very benign, I would say, presence of the Acting High Commissioner of Sri Lanka to India, Mr. Niluka Kaduru Gamuma, who in his thoughts, and we've just heard him, and I think he is definitely here to make a difference. So I think we are looking to very exciting times as we kind of recover from COVID. To all the office bearers of Thai who are here on the dais and all the friends from the fraternity who are here, all the members of Slito who are on the dais and who are away from the dais, the media and members of the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau and everybody else who is here and is interested in taking tourism forward. While I have written a lot of things, but I think I will try and say things. Ladies and gentlemen, as per the available data, Sri Lanka witnessed a footfall of 178,000 international tourists in the first two months of 2022. 
the majority of these travelers were from Rajasthan. So here today, who has come, who have come from Sri Lanka, distinguished representatives from the ministries of tourism of the government of India and the government of Sri Lanka, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, friends. I consider it a great privilege and honor to address this networking session, roadshow, and the press conference organized by the Travel Agents Association of India and the Sri Lanka Association of Tour Operators. I was delighted to learn that Thai is organizing their 66th annual convention in Sri Lanka, especially at a time when we are assiduously working towards rebuilding the tourism industry in Sri Lanka which was adversely affected by the pandemic. On behalf of the High Commission of Sri Lanka in New Delhi, I would like to take this opportunity to extend our heartfelt appreciation uh, for Thai President Mrs. Mayal and her team for choosing Sri Lanka as the venue of the association's annual convention. As we have used the forced break due to COVID-19 to not only to think through a strategy for a comeback, but it gave me a a great pleasure as the President of Sri Lanka Association for Inbound Tour Operators, SLITO, to be with you for Thai SLITO networking and um, roadshow and also media conference. So thank you very much for inviting us and thank you very much for giving us this opportunity going to be our first major event and especially thanks to the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Board and SLITO that is the Inbound Tourism Association of Sri Lanka that has invited Thai and its members to visit Sri Lanka. Special thanks to India Tourism, to Sri Lankan Airlines, Indigo Airlines as well as all the partners and dignitaries who are present today. Without this, it is not going to be possible. So looking forward to welcoming you all, Thai members and the trade at large to Sri Lanka for the Thai Convention. Thank you. We are very fortunate to meet uh, Madam Rupinder Bra. Uh, well, ma'am, uh, first of all, we would like to understand from you, what are uh, India's tourism ministry's plans for this year? How may we can revive the domestic tourism and give a boost to this sector? I think it's an amazing time to be here and just when India has done about 181 crore of vaccines and COVID is kind of sort of behind us, of course we still need to be careful, but we in the ministry are looking forward to a very positive year of reaching out to the world and also, in fact, domestic tourism has been doing really well, but we are going to be working far more now on the inbound tourism. And within the inbound tourism, the short haul and the regional uh, tourism is going to remain a very important vertical for us. And we look forward to a lot more collaborations with our neighbors, for which we are here today. I think one first partnership today is starting between Thai and Sri Lanka. And the ministry also will be carrying on many more such projects. So I would tell all the entire fraternity, including including my Thai members, this is a time to reconnect, reimagine and rethink what, where our industry is going. And we need to collaborate because I really believe in the three C's of collaboration and working together. And I think we need to move forward with that to establish and re-establish our business and work towards the success of this industry.